This is Lou from Foothills Properties in Tucson. I'm at 4730 Quail Creek Place in Skyline Country Club inside a community of townhomes called Skyline Viviendas. We're looking west to the entrance to the street. We'll pan around, you can see the mountains. This is not a long street and now we're standing right in front of the house looking at the driveway and the two car garage. It's an adobe construction. We'll walk up to the house. You can see a little bit of the low care front yard. Ahead you can see the entrance and the gated courtyard entry and to the left we'll look at it again. We'll see the walkthrough door from the outside into the garage. There's another one directly from the house. We'll turn back and go into the courtyard. The sun's going to hit us badly here and I apologize but you can see the wrought iron door at the front of the house so that you could leave the front door open and have screens to keep the flying insects out and have fresh air through the house during the cooler parts of the day. Straight ahead is the mechanical closet to our left. We just look to the right but to the left is the dining room, great room, and kitchen. To the right are the two bedrooms. We'll go all the way to the right. We're now looking at the guest bedroom with two closets. It would make a great little office den as well. A great little place for a small desk. A ceiling fan with light kit. Fresh paint. Looks very, very crisp. A bathroom is part of this suite so it's somewhat like a two master suite. There's an armoire for a uh, linen closet or sundries closet. It has a shower there. Clean white tiles. Newer door. A lot of vanity space there. We'll walk back out into the second bedroom and turn to the right, walk down the hall towards the master suite. It's a good size master suite, again with a light kit on the ceiling fan. That's the back patio. We'll go out from the great room. Now we're into the closet area and there are two closets here. That's a mirror on the wall so that you can get a full length look at your outfit. There is the two closets. We'll turn into the bathroom. Double sinks, large mirror, good lighting in here. That's a little Asian oriental chest to be used again is it, um, for sundry items, linens, etc. The modern John. This is a shower above the, the tub, a couple of grab bars, the last tenant used them. They can come in very handy even if you don't really need the grab bars. We'll turn and exit the master suite, go across the entry hall, as we approach the entry hall, we'll turn to the right, take a look at the beehive fireplace, the doors to the outside. What, what you'll see later is a wet bar. We're now entering the kitchen. You notice the sautille floors. That's a little bit of a copper backsplash there. All appliances here are included microwave, two door refrigerator stove, dishwasher, very clean, exceedingly clean. There's pass through to the dining area. You will see it again when we go on the other side. Now we'll walk towards the laundry room. You can see the laundry room, covered space above, and washer and dryer. You'll note on the door to the garage, there's a screen. I'll pull it so you can see it better. 
Again, this will help with airflow into the house at night or in the cooler parts of the day when you want to use the air and not use the heating and cooling system. We're into the two-car garage. It's a good size garage. It's light because there's windows on the garage door. There's a storage room over in the corner there. Go back through the kitchen. You can see the air come the door where the air can come through into the garage. The kitchen is bright and you get a look at that front entry there. To our right here, well, we just turned to the left. You can see the skylights and the dining room light, the wood plank and beam ceiling, the beehive fireplace. There's the pass-through. To our right here is a wet bar. For those who like that convenience, there are some shelves, either bookshelves or knick-knack shelves, however you want to use them. The beehive fireplace again. And now we'll go out onto the back patio and take a look at the patio and the lot yard. You'll notice some tools there. The owner was working on the water system, the drip system this past week. They won't be there when you move in. Large covered patio. Covers the whole back of the house. It's a good eight feet deep. And there at the end is the storage room. We'll go back through the house. Those runners are there because of the work being done. And we'll go back out to the front. And this is our house at 4730 Quail Creek Place in the Viviendas.